Hello everyone, this is Hierotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelation for the DS. Previously, the party finally liberated the Supreme Sage at the bottom of Gallows Moor. Unfortunately, the Archfiend retaliated by turning everyone in town to statues or animals. Definitely a rat think thing to do. But now, we have the means to reach the Archfiend's lair. And we'll have to rest up, since we weren't rested up automatically. Thank you, ma'am. We'll zoom over to Gallows Moor, then head northwest to Death's Cape, where we'll use this, the Orb of Truth. The path to the Sea of Nothingness ends here. Use the Orb of Truth received from Supreme Sage Benjamin. Yes. Herot holds the Orb of Truth aloft above the Sea of Nothingness. And we're in a new location. What do people have to say? Are we near the Archfiend yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm getting impatient. It would help if the Archfiend just came out of his own accord. What's that? It looks a bit like a shrine. A shrine, eh? I feel a profound evil in this place. Wherever he is, I'm sure the Archfiend is keeping a close eye on our movements. Where are we? Where's Mortimer's castle? There's a mountain over there, but it's so tall, I can't even see the top. So he's made his lair inaccessible. This must be that shrine. And we have a Disgustling and a Hell Gladiator. Hell Gladiators can strike twice in a turn. And Disgustlings have group spells. Gross Burning Breath. Goodbye, Hell Gladiator. And we get Kakrackled. Very nasty, Disgustling. Bring out the Hustle Dance. Definitely a worthwhile ability. Goodbye, foes. Ashlyn reaches the rank of Crowd Pleaser. She learns Band Dance. That could be useful. Congrats, Ashlyn. Dancer rank 6, Crowd Pleaser. Now with Band Dance. That prevents enemies from dancing. And here we are. This is the Prison of Sorrow. Any treasure out here? Nope. So let's head inside. Still no treasure. Shh, there's someone here. What's up with this place? It's small, whatever it is. This is a cheerless place indeed. Hello? There's no response. It's just a corpse. The corpse is in an advanced state of decay. It must have been there for quite some time. 
It seems there's nothing of note here. Shall we head downstairs? Phew, it's dead, I. That got my heart going for a sec. This place hasn't had any visitors in a long old while. Or a change of guard, apparently. Let's head downstairs. Still no treasure? Hmm? Who's that? It looks like there's somebody chained up over there. Could it be? There may be some nasty surprises waiting for us. Let us proceed with caution. We'll cast Safe Passage because of the spikes. There's no response, but he appears to be alive. He's still breathing and everything like that, but still, something ain't right. He's the spitting image of Benjamin, the sage we encountered in Gallows Moor. What? The party are engulfed by an overwhelmingly strange sensation. What could this be? Swear fealty to us! Swear you will devote every ounce of your power to the Archfiend! Never! Curse your stubbornness! But I'm afraid your display of courage has run its course, for you, for you are now in the realm of your own heart. A human heart laid bare is a pathetically weak and fragile object. If we attack your heart directly, even a Supreme Sage would be unable to bear it. To begin, look at this. You would recognize this man, I take it. Benjamin! That's right, it's your baby brother Benjamin, and if you continue to refuse to lend us your power... ...he will pay the ultimate price. So what do you say, Sage? Will you serve the Archfiend? You have made your choice. Execute him! If you speak now, you can still stop it. What do you say, O wise one? Execute him, I say. Humph! So you choose not to react. So be it. But in this world, there is no limit to the time we have. You will witness the sorry scene again and again, until your heart crumbles and lies in ruins. How dastardly! What did we just see? Were we in his mind? I think we need to talk to Benjamin about what happened here. Well, at least now we know this is the Supreme Sage. Shall we attempt to speak to him once more? That man. They called him Isaac in the dream we just saw. This must mean that we've already met the Supreme Sage. There's no response, but he appears to be alive. You saw it too, right, Herot? It wasn't just my mind playing tricks on me. Supreme Sage Isaac is alive. We must inform Benjamin at once. Hmm, I don't reckon we're getting an encore. Well, let's return to Gallows Moor and talk to Benjamin. We must speak to Benjamin as soon as we can and tell them and tell him that Isaac is still up and tell him that Isaac is alive. Benjamin's probably still sleeping downstairs. The silence is oppressive.
This archfiend is quite a nasty villain. We'll need safe passage again for that persistent electric field. Let's go and tell Benjamin that Isaac is still alive. How's Benjamin looking? Is he awake? I think it's best to tell Benjamin about that strange vision we saw. Let's pray it contains a clue as to how to rescue Isaac. Hey, Rot, is something of a matter? I could say so. Herot explains the situation. I understand. Herot, I need you to take me to my brother. Do not be worried about me. I have cast all manner of healing spells on myself. I have no intention of being a burden to you. Shall we go, Herot? Benjamin joins the party. All right. Time to rescue the Supreme Sage. I never imagined Benjamin would join us. Now we're ready for anything. His aura is much brighter than before. I'm sure he'll I'm sure he'll be just fine. Unfortunately, you can't just evac out. That would be too easy. Benjamin's still with us, I. I gotta say, he's in a lot better shape than I expected. Isaac's mind is being attacked by monsters as we speak. There is simply no time to waste. We must go and rescue him. To think he was imprisoned for so long, yet he managed to recover so rapidly. There is no mistaking a supreme sage. I must watch and learn. Ah, good Nevin, ever the student. Boy, I sure hope Isaac's okay. Thank goodness the Benjamin that was facing the shop was just an illusion. Humph, I don't see the Archfiend's lair anywhere around here. Either he's concealing it with some trickery, or it's somewhere else entirely. Now let's return to that cape. We'll use the orb again. And head northeast again. An Anaya Lantern and a Hijinx. Kabafe. That won't help much. What a shame there aren't more of you.
Goodbye, hijinks. And... Terry reaches level 31. Congrats, Terry, on level 31. Back to the Prison of Sorrow. Phew, we made it. Looks like we're here. Let us hurry to the cell. Right, down the stairs. Let's slow down a bit. Remember that Benjamin is having difficulty seeing. Let's escort Benjamin to the lower level. So, downstairs? Well, we're here. Let's get Benjamin over to his brother. Finally, we made it. We've arrived. Now, let's head inside. My dear brother! Wait, what is this? Curse the Archfiend! He has taken my brother's mind and imprisoned it. His body is there before us, but his mind is elsewhere. I can sense it. I believe you may have stumbled upon a frail fragment of it earlier. Hmm. Perhaps I may be able to delve into his mind. But only if my prayer is heard. Isaac, my brother, it is I, Benjamin. If you can hear me, send me a sign. Brother, is it... It is really you. I am coming to your aid. Let us go, Herot. Swear fealty to us. I... I... refuse. As stubborn as always, I see, your strength and determination are formidable indeed. But believe me, you will submit, and then all your powers will be used in the service of the Archfiend. Now take another look at your baby brother Benjamin, going to meet his miserable end. Vile fiends! You recognize him, don't you? That's right, it's your brother Benjamin. It's truly tragic, it's truly tragic, isn't it? All of your guts and determination have merely led to Benjamin's demise. Gah! What do you say, O oh wise one? You can still stop this tragedy. Ugh. Execute him! Wait, wait, I say. Very well. I... I relent. I will swear fealty to monster kind. Just please. No, my brother. Do not allow yourself to be bamboozled. I am here beside you. Isaac, my brother! Benjamin, uh, Benjamin, is it you? I am glad to see you well. I had feared the worst. And you as, mo and you as well, my brother. Indeed. Is that the younger brother of the Supreme Sage? How did he manage to worm his way into his brother's mind? Benjamin, are they? 
Yes, my brother. These are the ones who are destined to bring light into this world. Hmm. Come with us. Herm, the Archfiend specifically forbade me from allowing those two to meet. What should we do, Bello? Good question, Cabot. Easiest thing is to just dispose of a lot of them. No, that's not a good plan. If we kill them, we will lose the chance to harness their power. Good point. Hmm. So your name is Hayrot, yes? You did well to find my brother Benjamin. I will reward you for this afterwards, but our first priority is to escape this place. Benjamin and I will begin our prayer. Hayrot, you and your companions must buy us some time. We must take Isaac and get out of here. If my brother and I combine our power, we should be able to break free. The two sages begin to meditate. May your prayer become my strength. Free my mind from the grasp of evil. It is done. We can make our escape now, Herod. Not so fast. Do you think we're going to let you just prance on out of here? Prepare yourselves to be sealed in this void forever. Come, Cabot. I am ready, Bello. Grrrr! So, time to take on Bello and Cabot. Let's get some oomph going. And we'll go, and we'll go after Cabot first. And some kabobs. These guys definitely look brutish. Take that, Cabot. HP regen from Hero is a wonderful thing. More Kabaf. Ew, boulders. That hurts. Have some Giga Slash, Cabot. Thin Air. And Hustle Dance. Thin air, and more hustle dance. We're damaging him now. Mid heal will not help you guys. Only a minor annoyance. Cabot is covering below. Oh, poor Cabot. Take that, Cabot. Oh, Bello can meditate. 
not that it matters much. Let's try some pearly gates. Pitiful bellow. Huge boulders, eh? A might painful, but not too painful. Just delaying the inevitable. Oh, mid heal. It's like you're not even trying. Take that, Bellow. Nasty manipulators. And Cabot drops a treasure. A mini medal. Urgh. Gwarg! Take that, you dream fiends. Huh? Isaac? Isaac, my brother! Now those chains! Fear not, they cannot bind me now. Grah! Now those monsters have met their end, their chains can no longer hold me. I must express my gratitude to your companions. You're welcome, Isaac. Yes, my brother. And we're up to 100 mini medals. The two sages together again. Ain't that a sight? The two sages are more hale and hearty than I dared hope. Right, let's go and talk to the sages. It still pains me to recall being separated from being separated from my brother and cast into that cell on Gallows of Moor. I had come to terms with the thought that I might never see him again. Thank you, Herot. Because of your efforts, we have been reunited at last. I must admit, I was terribly worried when we first met the Sages. It's such a relief to see them alive and well like this. It hardly seems like we're worthy of these fellows' gratitude, I. The more you look, the more striking the Sages' resemblance becomes. I imagine their parents often got them confused when they were children. Twins, maybe? I have been very fortunate to witness your power. My brother's high estimation of you indeed proved to be correct. Your courage and fortitude have allowed the two of us to meet again. My brother and I were born with a curious power, you see. It is a power that transcends time and space. We can open a door between two far-flung points thereby connecting the two locations. To cut a long story short, we have the ability to create what we call teleportals. An excellent power. The Archfiend desired that power at the same time as he feared it. Perhaps you are wondering why he feared it. Watch, and we shall demonstrate our power. Right now, we are situated directly below the Archfiend's castle. Fingers crossed this will work. Benjamin, let's give this 
Yes, my brother. Clear the area. Spread forth, O oh powerful light. Break down the door of darkness. Belazar, Brezalem, Baphelon. Ha! Nifty light show. Seems to be destroying that mountain. Smash! And the castle is now accessible. Fantastic! As you have witnessed, our power has the capacity to unleash destruction on an epic scale. But it seems that we caused little damage to the Archfiend's castle itself. It would appear that this is the limit of our power. Whoa! Uh... Whoa! I only wish our powers were so limited. Goodness me! I'm at a loss for words. We have, an, we have opened up a chasm here in the Archfiend's Dread Realm. If you leap into it, you'll be able to return to our world. Fantastic! The two of us will stand guard here, so that you can use this to travel back whenever you need. The rest is up to you, Hayrot. To think. The sages can do this in the Archfiend's backyard. No doubt he is feeling an acute sense of danger right about now. I hope so. Now we'll be able to come and go between the worlds faster than before. Whoa! We can get back to our worlds whenever we want through here, I. Ain't that convenient? Most convenient. It is time to set off, Hayrot. The Archfiend's castle has been lowered to the ground. Leave here, and you should see it directly in front of you. You must combine your powers. You are all connected by a set of indissoluble bonds. The bond of blood, the bond of friendship, the bond of love, the bond of trust. These bonds are the source of all the power that we possess. That's a lot of bonds, I. Well, it sounds good to me. There ain't nothing we can't do if we combine our strength. The bonds between us are the source of all our power. Let's keep our faith in those bonds and fight to the very end. What cannot be achieved alone can be achieved by combining our power. The deeper our common bond, the more energy we can unleash. All right. And we now have a zoom point for the Prison of Sorrow. Diving in, we arrive near the Shrine of Legend in the real world. We'll switch worlds now. And rest at All Trades Abbey. We're here to rest, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And then we'll save. This is Hayrotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.